There's always been a debate about whether life could exist on Mars, and NASA fueled it all over the past couple of weeks, hinting something historic has been found on its first ever chemical testing of soil on the red planet. Well, today the official results were unveiled, and it turns out there's not actual evidence of life just yet. But as Eric Sorensen reports, the very fact we're testing is thrilling to the scientists involved. <laughs> This is how scientists reacted when Curiosity landed on Mars last August. Animation showing the rover gently landing on a planet some 350 million kilometers from Earth. That achievement, we got it. Now Curiosity has spent weeks sifting through Martian soil. The goal, to find signs of life on Mars. And? We see a whole suite of organic structures produced. Organic structures, chlorine, sulfur, possibly carbon, Backed by technical data, scientists can now say this about life on Mars. What we've got is a globally representative material on Mars that turns out to also be a rich repository of environmental process and history. That's it? Globally representative material? A lot of people thought we might have a eureka moment John, when Grotzinger said this last week. This data is going to be one for the history books. It's looking really good. Data, of course, excites scientists. Discovery excites everyone else. There's a big difference between data and, and discovery. And, and what we were excited about was the fact that we were getting really great data. And someday that data might add up to something. But right now, the organic compounds on Mars, not even sure they originated on Mars. So if we're ever to find a, an environment where we see lots of organics, then we're really on to something. In the meantime, what to tell a general audience? Things that we think are great discoveries that the, 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 the general audience is going to be interested in. Uh, you know, our, our bottom line is that we have a globally representative material. And for space scientists, that is a big deal. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Washington.